Welcome. Great to see you. What are you focused on? What are you focused on? Remember, you should be focusing on every word I'm saying because it's these words that will gain you your chief aim goal. What is your true, honest purpose in life? What is your destiny? What's the one thing that never leaves you? See, what is the thing that you keep coming back to? What's your trump card? The things that you're great at. What's in your deep core spirit? Think it through. Think long and hard because you're going to take a risk. Take the risk. Take the chance. It's your turn. It is right and everybody will be better off for it. Correct? Remember that there are two types of people in this world. Winners and losers. Are you avoiding pain? Deep down, you could be. The mind will avoid pain like the plague. If your mind relates discipline with pain, you're dead in the water. You must only think on the final outcome during the discipline actions. The final outcome being the fame, the money, the planes, the trains, the automobiles, the sex, whatever it might be for you. Whatever the motivator is for you, whatever motivates you. Change your thinking to, you know what, why not me? Have you found your destiny? Do you know what it is? Great. Now, prescribe a due date. There absolutely must be a goal line. I suggest July 4th, fireworks and the like. 365 days, you analyze yourself. How am I doing? Remember, if doubt enters your mind, just say, why not me? What do I have to lose? Why not? And be very sure to understand that there is more pain in not obtaining a life dream than there is to obtain it. It's more difficult to be poor than it is to be rich. It's a fact. The poor are tougher than the rich, unless that rich person got there with discipline, order, and structure. This is almost unbeatable. You must link pain to losing. Remember to emotionalize it. Say to yourself, never. Never ever will I lose again. It's done. It's finished. I will not lose again. Never will I lose again. It must be emotionalized. You must feel it. It must become distasteful to the core of your inner spirit. Now if somebody beats you, salute him. He's a winner. And winners win. Okay. Now you have made a decision of what you want. Now I ask you this. Are you a girl of your word? Are you a person of your word? Are you a man of your word? If you are, you will implement these ideas. Do you have the soul of a slave or the soul of a free person? Does not thy king fight his enemy with all of his might? The lack of money is your enemy. The lack of energy is your enemy. Then act on the decision that you have made. Now, even if at first you feel like you're lying to yourself, it's all right. Your goal is to continue until you create an unshakable belief. It's unshakable right down to the center of your bone marrow, right down to the atom. See, you are the master key to your success. It's you. It all starts with you. Trust yourself a little bit. 
No one purposely drives their life into the gutter. There, there's a lot of twists and turns in life. I understand that. But you've got to keep driving forward. The Bible says, where there is no vision, the people perish. It also says, I will come to you in a dream. So if you get an idea, ask yourself, is this right? Is everybody going to be better off for it? Then implement the idea into action. When you start, start with the end result. Start with the end in mind. Focus on what the goal will bring. See it in fine-tuned detail. See yourself already walking around inside the goal. What kind of car are you driving? I'm driving a Bentley. What kind of house are you living in? I live in a house that overlooks the water. What's your body look like? Are you firm, fit, and happy? See yourself opening your wallet. Is the lot of money five inches thick with thousand dollar bills? Think big. Now here is an important point. I'll say it again and again and again. Now that you see yourself inside the goal, internalize, internalize it. Internalize it, emotionalize it. How does it feel? Feel is the word. How does it feel to be already in possession of the goal? How does it feel to be the guitarist for Shania Twain? How does it feel to be the greatest figure skater that ever walked the earth? Emotionalize that. Why? Because you will need to grab for that emotional feeling in times of struggle, in times of frustration, in times when you feel that you can't do it. Remember, we must harbor no sense of doubt. And when you get weak, you've got to go for that internalized, emotionalized feeling of already being in possession of the dream. And you do this when you are in practice, in the study, in the repetition of doing it over and over and over again. And never ever go any further than what you understand when you are studying. Don't jump ahead. Winners win. You are a winner. I believe in you. Winners Web Network. Subscribe. Tell a friend to subscribe. Go to the next video. Go outside? No. You don't? Alright.